Hello guys, you're welcome to Ecomputing's YouTube channel. My name is Eugene and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can customize the Microsoft Azure portal user interface. I believe you have seen other tutorials on YouTube or other users of Microsoft Azure have an interface that looks like this. Right. And sometimes you're wondering, is it because of the subscription that is making the user interface look different or how are they able to do this? It's just the appearance settings that have been adjusted on the Microsoft Azure portal. The portal is normally used to manage all the resources that we have on Microsoft Azure. But sometimes some users feel like the default blue and white interface is too bright for them. So they prefer a darker user interface design. So Microsoft included a couple of themes for Microsoft Azure portal. So if you want to apply, the only thing that you need to do is that when you log into your Microsoft Azure portal, we have some settings option over here. You can click on the settings option here. And then by default, it brings your directories and subscription information. But there is an option here for appearance plus startup views. So when you click on this appearance plus startup views, you get the option to customize the user interface. Behavior of the portal menu by default flies out when you click on it like this, right? But you can dock it to the side using this option over here by selecting docked and then go apply. When you apply, you realize that the Azure portal menu doesn't fly out only when you click on it, but it gets actually docked and stuck to the side of your screen. And then for some reason, if you don't want it to be appearing like this, after you docked it, you can just hide the portal menu by just clicking on this option over here to hide and reopen it, okay? If you think the docked menu type is not comfortable for you anymore, you can switch it back to fly out and go apply and then just hit it. But I prefer this one because it kind of gives me a view of all the services that you can run on Microsoft Azure. So how about the colors? You can switch it by changing the themes over here to maybe this one over here and it turns it dark for you or you can switch to the light theme and then we have the dark theme. You can click on dark theme over here. When you apply, it goes totally dark. Okay, so for those of you who have probably eye problem and you don't like a lot of uh, brightness, you can use this particular theme over here and then enjoy Microsoft Azure without stressing your eyes. Okay, and then they also included some high contrast themes over here. If you think you prefer high contrast themes, the high contrast themes actually uh, takes away most of the CSS part of the uh, user interface, right? So it sends it straight into something like a pure HTML document. So if, for instance, the rendering of the page is kind of slow for you because of your internet speed, uh, high contrast can help because it takes most of the CSS uh, design out and just gives you something like a skeleton version of the portal. So, for instance, when I click on resources over here, you can see there is no major colors in here. It's just a plain HTML file. Okay, let's continue and do some more customization. One thing that is very tricky about modifying the appearance of the portal is that when you get to this side and then for some reason you switch to a high contrast and then you forget that you switch to a high contrast and you're trying to send it back to default. See, I send it back to default blue team. I go apply, it's not my name, right? So you have to remember that if you want to try the, the high contrast theme, after trying it out, if you want to send it back, you have to switch it to none so that the user interface version that has all the CSS code in there that makes it look beautiful will come back. If you forget to switch it back to none, under the high contrast theme section, uh, you probably will need to call in an expert to come and help you. So please don't forget, if you try the high contrast and you want to send it back, please send it back to none. And then you can get a chance to try your hands on the other themes. Okay. And then we also have an option for if you want your Microsoft Azure uh, startup view to start from the home section of the Azure portal or the dashboard. Okay, There's a difference between the home page and then the dashboard. The dashboard looks like this. Okay, the dashboard can also be customized due to the resources that you are using on Microsoft Azure. You can monitor your virtual machines here, your storage account, your database instances by adding new sections over here. But if, for instance, your duty on Microsoft Azure is to just monitor the resources on Azure, so you don't do much of uh, administrative tasks, you can just customize the appearance of your Microsoft Azure portal 
to always load from the dashboard page and then you're not going to have any problems with having to look at this section all the time but your Azure portal will load straight when you log in it will load you straight into the dashboard view and then if you want to go back and do some administrative tasks then you can send it back okay so this is how most people customize the user interface of microsoft azure you can feel free to try it and then give me feedback in the comment section thank you very much for joining me today i'll see you in the next video